This is the plaintiff, Dawn Sanders. She says she and the defendant used to date. And when they were together, she loaned him money on many different occasions, and he was refusing to pay her back. They were on and off so many times it would make your head spin. But bottom line is he owes her $3,800, and she's here suing to get it. This is the defendant, Jonathan Dukes. He says he and the plaintiff were together and she bought him things all the time. She never told him he was going to be required to pay her back. In fact, she told him point blank he didn't have to pay her back any money because she just wanted to help him out. She's just very angry now because he posted a picture of himself with his new girlfriend on social media. And she's mad he won't go back to her. He's accused of being a swindling Casanova. All parties, please raise your hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, Ms. Ma'am. Sanders, you are suing Mr. Duke, who you used to date for how long? Uh, approximately two years, Your Honor. For $3,800, the value of all the loans you've made to him throughout that relationship. When did you guys break up? December. But we were completely finished in January. 2018. 18. Correct. All right. So what happened? Um, in the beginning, when we first started dating, it was just friends. And then he wanted to date me. And then we went from there. And um, he was looking for a Cuban link necklace. I was 14 cold. He wanted this necklace so bad. And he was he was okay, setting. That's kind of like a thick. Li- Do you have the necklace with you? Yes. Yeah, let me see it. I'm, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. I didn't know until he. Described it to me. Well, I know because I'm Cuban, but mm-hmm. people, know. <laughs> people know anyway. It's just this thick link. Yeah, that's it. Thick link uh, necklace. All right. So he wanted that and you were going where? I was going to uh, on a cruise, but one of the stops was uh, St. Thomas. OK. And um, I've been on cruise several times with my family. And if you're going to if you want a good deal, you get it down in the Caribbean. So I told him, like, I'm going down to St. Thomas. And he's like, um, well, if you get it for me, I'll make payments just like I would make payments if um, I purchased it up here. Right. But you were going to outlay the entire amount. Yes. So why were you, okay, why would you take payments then? If he can't afford it, why are you getting it for him? Because he said he would make payments. So I thought, you know what, he was good for his word. So I was like, okay, fine. Like, I'll, I'll take the payments. I mean, payments. if you can't afford the necklace, don't have it. It's not a necessity, you know. I agree. Okay, so go on. So when I went to St. Thomas, I purchased the necklace. I sent him a picture of it when I came back from the cruise. Um, he was so excited he got the necklace, and he hasn't taken it off since. Okay. Um, and then he said he would start making payments, but he said he had to finish his EMT school, which was, I think it was November that he was in EMT school. When did you come back from the cruise? Um, um, July, I think I was back from the Okay, school. what happened between July and November on the payments? He didn't make any. Right. Okay, so go on. So then in, um, we, went on, we went on a trip to Florida in November, and he told me he would pay me back for the trip to Florida in November, which was five, like $500 for him, $500 for me. We flew to Florida, had a great time, came back. He gave me the Wait, five. Wait, why did you, if he hadn't paid you a penny for the necklace, why did you front his trip to Florida? I was in love with him. Because so I-, I love him. <laughs> All right. But now you're whining. Yes, okay, so you're now correct. November, go on. And then now he's in AMT school and he needs some cash again, right? Well, he, we went to Florida for the $500. He did pay me back the $500. Okay. He did give me the money for the $500. We split up in December. Now it's 2018. Okay, but you're also suing for a loan for an EMT class. When does that happen? That happens in 2018. Um, when you're not even dating? No, we got back together. Oh, okay. Okay, so we broke up in December. I went to Cancun. When I came back from Cancun, um, I found out he was cheating, so we broke up. We ended it. And then come 2018, in like um, April or May, he he contacts me, says he, he learned his lesson, and he's a better man, and he wants to work it out with me, and did all of this stuff. And he said, I promise you I won't cheat again, and all this great things. He's now a wonderful man. So he's going, he's changed everything. So I was like, okay, fine. We, um, we start talking again, and he, truthfully, I thought he did change because he was different. Um, then he found out that um, he said there was a rumor going around at his job that he was going to lose his job. And he was really concerned about it. And I was like, okay. He's like, can I borrow $800 from you, pay off some of my bills? And that was when? That was in, on June, June 4th, I took out the money. But How I get, long before that had you started dating again? Maybe like a month and a half. 
So you're dating for a month and a half and he hits you up for $800. He never paid you for the chain. Correct. And the chain is now a year old. Um, and what efforts did you make between December when you broke up and May to collect on the money for the chain? I texted him a million times. Can, I you, sent do you, can you show me any text between December of 2018 and May? Yes, I have. Um, there's text messages, and I have them in my phone. Like, there's so many text messages between us, like 10,000. So, so then you loan him another how much? He asked for 800. I took out 1,000 because I wasn't sure how much he would exactly need, but he ended up telling me. Oh, because we have to bestow more money on him. <laughs> he told me. And then now, the, what I love is how you conclude your complaint. I'm a single mother. Were you thinking about that when you were throwing money at your boyfriend, buying him? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so, sir, what's going on? Um, well, before... I start. Um, I'd like to say, how you doing? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, good idea, bad idea to lend money to a person you're dating? I don't think it's a good idea. I think that if you guys are already dating, then maybe you should know each other well enough to. Well, so, how long do you have to know them before you start pay, uh, loaning them money? What's the. I would say a year, maybe. A I think year? a year. That might as well be the relationship right there. <laughs> oh, so that's the, that's the course of your relationships is a year. Uh, it could be, right? It could be. Are but... you guys together? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Yes, we, friends. No, not yet, no. <laughs> not, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. What do you mean, way to go? What did way to go mean? <laughs> what am I missing here? This is actually a college reunion. We both went to San Francisco State, and we're just, you know, Getting together. Getting together, visiting each other. But I've always loved her. Uh, but I've always loved her. <laughs> okay, do you just want to like stay here and learn more? <laughs> Damn, we have to go inside the courtroom. The first part was true. Um, I did want to chain. I was going to do it on payments. Um, then she decided to get it for me. Throughout the whole, long story short, um, uh, my intentions were to pay her. My mother asked her for the receipt. She said, can I get the receipt? Because my mom works with her in the pharmacy. And she didn't give her the receipt. Do you I mean, have the receipt here? I do, Your Honor. Okay, and what's your defense? Well, in the car, we, I had financial problems. Um, I had lost my job due the to- Financial it. problems are not a defense. No, well, I had lost my job for uh, the place had closed down, so I was looking for another job. We were living with each other. So I was sitting in the car and we, I was just basically almost about to shed in tears because I have you know, kids, a lot of things going on. Um, and she's like, you know what, you don't even have to pay me for anything. I know what you're going through. You don't have to worry about it. And then all of a sudden, um, we stopped talking and we got into a simple little argument. My stuff was still there. I walk into the house and she's cuddled with some other dude. And then I packed my stuff and I left. And then all of a sudden she came and talking, talking about chain this, chain that. Okay. Between December of 2018, when you guys broke up the first time and, or, you know, that big time, did she um, tell you, hey, you owe me money for the chain? No. So show me the text where you say you did. Three grand, 3,300 for the chain? 3,000, the, 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 the 325 is something else we purchased, but it was 3,000 3, for the chain. 3,000 for the chain? Yes, you sure. As a Cuban, let me tell you, you overpaid for the Cuban <laughs> chain. Well, she told me five, she got it for 35 and I owe her three. That's what she told me. Your Honor, if you look at the text- Stop talking, please. Yes, Your Honor. You text him in November, can you afford it? Can you afford the insurance? What's your plan on paying it? You, number four, you have to start making payments for what you owe me. Are you dating in November of 2018? Yes. We broke up in December of 2018. I don't want to have to ask for a payment. It should be automatic until everything is paid off. Number six, you getting this car means more visiting Bridgeport, more taking off on me, more acting like you don't give an... Number six, what is the deal with you not having sex with me because it's a really big issue for me? I mean, you're over and over saying that you're gonna pay it. What's your defense? Well, I mean, it was gonna be paid. She didn't give me the receipt. How do I know this chain is $3,000? That's not a receipt, by the way, but it's a, a credit card statement to show what, where she bought it in the Virgin Islands and everything else. Okay, she couldn't show me this three years ago? I don't know why she didn't show it to you. I think um, what constantly happens around this place is that people, mostly women, will invest money in a guy and 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 invest, and so long as you stay together, everything's fine. I don't see lawsuits between couples that are together. I only see lawsuits when 
someone breaks up. That's when I see a lawsuit. And then it's, oh, judge, make it like it never happened. Why did you guys end up breaking up the last time? Because you say you found her cuddling on the couch with another guy? Yeah, I walked inside the house and that's what she was doing. Who was the guy? I have no idea. He didn't know who I was either. And were you living there? Yeah. Who was the guy? Your Honor, we broke up because I caught him in another female's house. The time that we were together, he was actually living with another female, had his stuff in my house, but staying in another female's house. And he The time cheated. that he caught you on a couch, you were already broken we up? We were already done. Oh. He, I was begging him to move his stuff out, and I have text messages asking him to please move his stuff out. Please move his stuff out. What happened when he came to the house? I, the guy was sitting on the couch too. Uh, no, what, what did he do or say? Absolutely nothing, oh, Your okay, Honor. Okay. He didn't say nothing. Do you have the chain? Let me see the chain again. You brought it to court because she's suing for the chain or the value of the chain. So. It's got some heft. Okay. Well, you were supposed to pay this back. You didn't. She's repossessing it. Give her the chain. You're also supposed to pay back $800 for the EMT class and for some bills. Thank you. And you acknowledged that you were supposed to pay that back too, right? In fact, well after you say, by the way, do you agree that you told him, forget it, I forgive all the, okay. Do you have any proof that she said that? Oh, that's just you saying she said that. And her saying, I don't know what you're talking about. That's not proof she said it. Well, there's, that's there's you more. saying she said it. All right, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, that's, so that's not her admitting that she said that. I'm going to order you to pay the $800. You've already got the chain. That's resolving this case. Let me give you a little piece of advice, OK? You are a fool. I don't mind that you spend money on a mate. You, if that's what makes you, you work hard for your money. If that's what you want to do, that's great. I just mind when you come whining to me about it afterwards, about your bad moves, OK? Yes, Your Honor. You understand? Yes. It's kind of hard to teach women like you a lesson when that side says, yeah, I'm supposed to pay it all back, you know, because a loan is a loan, and I'm here to call the balls and strikes, not judge you and how you handle your relationships. But if there's somebody else who's relying on you because you've got a child, you need to wisen up, okay? Good luck. So the judge finds for the plaintiff in this case, Mr. Dukes, number one, this didn't make you look too good, you know? It is what it is. It is what it is. And what about the, the chain? I, I gather you didn't walk in here expecting to lose that chain today, did you? Like I said, it is what it is. I'll just go grab another one. For $3,000? For maybe even more, just to be. It's not that easy, you know. All right. You got another girl who'll give you the money? Nah. OK, good luck to you. All right, take care. Thank you very much. Ms. Sanders, I can't help but think, well, I don't know. What do you think about the judge looking at you saying you're a fool? I was expecting that. Were you really? Absolutely. I've watched her before, so I know she gives you harsh reality. You weren't surprised, <laughs> huh? I was not surprised. You think she's right? She's right. I, I was a fool. I let him take advantage of me, and I should have stopped it in the, me in the beginning. Well, maybe you learned a lesson. Oh, I definitely like, did. Nothing like having a judge tell you that from the bench, right? Absolutely. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Harvey? Okay, Doug, real quickly, if somebody forgives a debt that you owe, you better get that in writing very clearly.